My best friend didn't get in touch for a long time, and then I decided to check his house. You never know what could have happened to him. I for flashlight. Hello everybody, we are playing indie horror games again, and today we are playing Lost Friend by Casper F. Gang. After a long lack of contact with your friend, you decide to check his house until you know what fear and horror awaits you. Okay, let's go check his house, I guess. Am I going the wrong way? No, apparently I'm going the right way. Tempting treats, fish and chips, breakfast rolls, hot dogs. And we're inside the house. Someone was aggressively knocking on the door. I need to inspect the house as soon as possible and leave. Okay. Ah, we need to turn on the flashlight again. Blood. Furniture. Basement. Something. Pictures. A threatening message to him from a stranger. Is this a threatening message? Can we interact with this? No. Let's go downstairs. What? Well, that's your friend. He's dead. Ooh. Okay. I need to leave. And we got got. Oh, and into the game we go again. Um, how do we know the game is over? Okay, let's do this over again because it was quite short. Threatening message. What? Let's get out. Can we go the other way? No, we cannot. Can we go around? Yes, we can. Will the guy chasing us appear again? Are you faster than us? You escaped. Send your guests and theories about the game to this email address. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that was Lost Friend by Casper F. Gang. A quite short horror game that you leave much to the imagination. We contact with a friend that was, well, hadn't contact, did us for a long while, and he's dead, and we have to escape. Um, I'm guessing the person that, uh, you know, got us in the end, got him. Also, we didn't get to see what the threatening message was. Maybe I did something wrong there, but I, I I don't know. You leave much open to interpretation here, but sure, for what it was, it was fantastic. I would love to see more of this, though, like we escape the killer and then we have to go, uh, I don't know, to like a driving section or like a section in the forest where we need to run away from him. And then we go back to our house and he chases us there and we call the police and we have to hide until the police comes. Something like that. There is definitely room for development here. Everybody, go to the link down in the description below, download this game, try it out for yourselves, help indie developers get the games out there. I will see you all in the next one. Until then, stay safe and have fun.